Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with Russian Fishing 4. We are back at the Winding Rivulet, as we had been previously. And I was doing some fishing over on this side of the lake. Let me get over here. Over in this area. And I've been doing very well with catching quite a few of the both bream and chubs using that special lure of husbuzzes as well as doing some feeder fishing I was literally pulling them in one, at, one right after another the last time I was here on a sunny day so I'm gonna come back over here and show you this spot because honestly this one spot I don't remember it being here I mean I don't remember the cover being there I think and I could be wrong, but I think that these sticks right here were not here before. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they've been there that long. I think they were recently added, and if they were, because I'll check my old videos just to make sure. Because so, if they were here, I just completely and totally missed them. Because I should have known this would be a good spot for just about, <laughs> just all types of fish. But... Yeah, right here has been an excellent spot to fish for chubs. And, you know, with chubs, you can get some pretty good cash. And same with bream. There's been a lot of bream in here as well. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. Now, just to make sure you understand, this is the lure I've been talking about. I know I've been raving about it because it has been awesome. <laughs> but... Oh, here it is. The Vico 8 gram 012. Yes, it has been a awesome lure. Other lures will work here pretty good too, but for some reason they just cannot get enough of this particular lure. I don't know why. But I'm not to argue. I'm just going to go with what works. So, And I've also got a couple of my Palmer rods here. So I'm probably going to be fishing for the bream, but I've got um, the, uh, oh gosh, barley on it and a maga on the other. And usually what I do when I'm fishing for these guys, I go ahead and I just throw a couple of my feeder rods out, let them set right at the base of those stick-ups. Uh, that's a little too far. Pull it in a little bit. Now, as you can see, the current is catching it a little bit. So, but I'm going to put these down just so that they're keeping busy, so to speak. And I'm going to put one on the other side as well, just so I kind of got my bases covered here. That was just perfect, right where I wanted it. And my feeder casting has gotten a lot better because I f bottom fish a lot. I really do. I mean, that's the type of fishing I like to do in real life anyway. So, But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place this at about a 30. It seems to be working really well on this particular fishery or map. But let me show you exactly where this is. We're right here. And right above here, you can fish also right up here. There's a little bit of a deeper area. It's also pretty good. And at this time of day, it might work a little better than over here by the stick-ups. But we'll try both of them. All right, let's go ahead and try this. But what I usually do, I try to cast it just beyond the sticks. You've got to be careful not to get a snag. But I haven't snagged it yet, so of course this would be when I do it. <laughs> but anyway, what I usually try to do is I try to 
do a jig step see what I mean for some reason there are just chubs here like nobody's business well that's a perch but you'll get occasional perch too perch love this thing just as much as the chubs do And occasionally you'll get a pretty good size one but if you want action you're gonna get plenty of the action yeah this is like one of the slowest times though whoa I think I've got some issues over here let's see what this guy's let's see what we got here Ooh, nice dace. Not bad. Looks like we got another one here, too. I'm going to throw that right back out where it was. Ah, it rains, it pours. <laughs> Let's see, are you still on this thing? Yep, you are. That's a little common roach. Little bitty guy. Okay, let's put that right at the base of those sticks here. There. Yeah, he wasn't too much to speak about, but... Hey, he's a fish. I tell you, anytime you're catching a fish, it's a good time. There we go. Ah, river mussel. <laughs> Aha. Do it again. Do it again. It was this one. Come on. Ooh, we're getting some partly cloudy weather. That should pick the chub up a little bit more. Now it's cloudy. Perfect. Definitely chub weather. Gosh, I'm hungry again? Seriously? I'm already getting low on food again. Sure doesn't take long. Get some of those sausages. There he goes. Wasn't sure if he was serious about it or not. Come on. Come on, little guy. Let's see what you are. Ooh, that's not too bad. Common roach. There we go. Tighten that up a little bit. Sometimes I like to do that. Yeah, since it's cooling off a little bit, let's go ahead and try this this way we'll do it a slow retrieve as well Ooh, we're getting some rain too that's gonna change a few things that also might make another lure more accepting here and I've been wanting to try it but it's been sunny every time I've been here Yep, there we go. Ooh, a nice little eyed. He's such a nice little eyed. <laughs> He's my little friend. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, that was that was a good hit. I'm thinking chub here, guys. 
I'm thinking a chub city here. That's what it looks like. No, it's an asp. Hmm. I caught a really big asp here yesterday. He brought in over 2,000 XP, so... Actually, I might go ahead and throw his picture up there, because I wasn't recording. 2,511. That's not a bad fish. Not a bad one at all. Yeah, that was extremely surprising, but I caught him right here, guys. Right here. I was extremely thrilled to catch him. Yeah, with this current, it changes a little bit how things are presented to these guys. Alright, before it stops raining, though, I am going to have to try that other lure. Just want to see how it does here, because it works great at Quarry Lake. Whoa, never mind, hold on. Got issues. Come on, little fish. Another nice common roach. It seems like there must be a small school of them right there. Fine by me. Can do with some common roach. Alright, let's try to change that lure now that we've got time. Let's see here. Yeah, the lure I'm talking about is not here. Hold on. Alright guys, I found it. It was on my other heavy rod. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put this on there. But this is the one I was talking about. The Hunter 1010. And it's this color. It's got the purple yellow and blue 26 grams and gosh this roaches are really uh, he's not too serious let, let yet let's just see what we can do with this now I'm gonna put it at 30 just to see and we'll try that first Yeah, they don't seem to be going for it. I'm going to give it one more shot. Tried it a couple of times. We're going to take the speed down, see if it'll do anything with the slower retrieve. And this may just be one that works really well in Kalori. I mean, it's hard to say. But if you've got a real successful lure, try it a little bit everywhere. I mean, see how, how it does. Okay, looks like our friend's back. Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. Just wanted to be sure... And he was an eyed. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Check it out. I don't know what the heck happened there, but when I put it down, I guess he wanted it. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Not a bad little pike. Not a bad little pike. <laughs> That was kind of surprising. I was trying to get the other one set up and... Alright, let's toss this one out first. And then we'll cast that one out. 
Yeah, I might change my bait here. I think I might go with... Uh, Mm. I might go with a night crawler. Just see what might be down there. Usually you see the catfish in the deep areas, but I haven't really tried one here, so it's it's worth a try. Let's see if there might be a catfish lurking around that stuff. But I am going to go ahead and switch back over to this simply because it does so well here and I'm hoping that I can get these guys to react the way they did yesterday my gosh it was just amazing how often they were doing it but let's go ahead take this up to to 30 yep it's partly cloudy anyway so it's probably better to switch this point and there we go another eyed again <laughs> love this the eye are really biting well today I mean they're not huge eyed but we are catching fish and that my friends is what matters just like that Another little bitty pike. That's a perch. I can tell them right off the bat that yellow <laughs> hue that they have. Yeah, you fish right up until the time it gets dark, you're going to keep catching these guys. And you're probably better off switching over and doing some float fishing or using another feeder rod. Yeah, the reason I put that asp up there is just because... can't guarantee I'm going to pull out a monster this time, but usually if I'm not recording, that's when I get the big ones. <laughs> Alright, let's move down here a little bit. Fish from this opposite shore. Mix it up a little. Yeah, I haven't tried the grasshoppers here yet. Thinking about it. There we go. Oh, that's a big zebra mussel. Think there's one of those on the um, cafe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here in the states, zebra mussels are not good. They are invasive to the natural species here. I 
And we're just about out of daylight here, guys. Too bad we can't get us one really big fish. I don't think that's him. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yep, yeah, it's probably about over for the spin casting here, but we'll give it one more shot here. Well, maybe not. I tell you, I'll keep fishing as long as they keep biting. This looks like a chub to me, maybe. Or a pike. Huh. Late night pike is what Dula calls them. Ah, there we go. Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to keep doing this as long as they keep biting, I think. Is that another pike? Yeah. What is going on? They really like this lure. usually see them biting this late maybe they can see it better or something I don't know there's another one okay this one's a little big he's not huge but I think there you go. There's a nice side. There's a nice side. I'm telling you, man, these guys are just biting. Must be a full moon. <laughs> they can see. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think. I think they've pretty much quit for the night, guys. I think they had their run. I am going to see if I can't do a little float fishing here. But before I do that, this has probably been a long enough episode, guys, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and pull these two rods. We'll go up and see what we got for our catch. But, yes, this spot is really, really good. And the stick-ups are just fantastic for fishing with those lures but nothing went after that night crawler so that answers that question <laughs> and it's gotten a little cool whoa I have a fish Whoa, nice chub. Nice way to end this, guys. 1.424. It's a nice way to end this. He's not a monstrosity, but he's definitely a healthy fish. All right, guys, I'm going to head on up to the camp. And from here, it's not that far. That's why one thing I like about being over on this side. See, it's kind of misleading as to where you are. See, technically speaking, you're, I mean, I basically came from here to here, so it's not really that far to get to the camp at all. And now that the map tells you where you are in relationship to things, it makes getting around so much easier with that little arrow. <laughs> I'm going to get over here. We'll see if there's anything in the cafe because I was thinking, which is always a bad thing, uh, <laughs> I was thinking that there was a zebra mussel in the cafe. Let's see here. No, it's a river mussel, but I might have. No, I had one, 
but not good enough. Let's see. I got one perch that fits in that category. Uh, did I get a nace? I don't think I got a nace. Maybe I got a nace. I don't. Heck, I don't know. I do have one eyed, but I need two. Uh, wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you just know it? So let's see what we got for these guys. Uh, looks like we got, yeah, we got like four dollars for that guy. A couple dollars for that pike, that's not too bad. That common roach wasn't too bad. And that dace, check it out. That's what I got that was good size. That dace is at 7.17. Must have been a, well, I don't know if he's a trophy size, but he's up there. So $28.90, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad for a day's work. Again, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go down a little bit further down the rivulet to the very end. Because that's always been a great spot, and I want to try some of the lures and feeder fishing there as well. But there's all kinds of awesome spots here, guys. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.